September 9th, St. Omer, Bishop of Terwan. St. Omer was born toward the close of the 6th century in the territory of Constance. His parents, who were noble and wealthy, paid great attention to his education, but, above all, strove to inspire him with a love for virtue. On the death of his mother, he entered a monastery and persuaded his father to accompany him, which he did after they sold all their worldly goods and distributed the proceeds among the poor. The father and son made their religious profession together. The humility, obedience, mildness, and devotion, together with the admirable purity of intention which shone forth in every action of St. Omer, distinguished him even among his saintly brethren. He was soon called from his monastic retreat, chosen to take charge of the government of the church in Terwan, an ancient diocese of the region of Ars in the northern part of France. The greater number of the inhabitants of the region were still pagans, and even the few Christians, through a scarcity of priests, had lapsed regrettably. The great and difficult work of their conversion was reserved for St. Omer. This holy bishop applied himself to his task with such zeal that in a short time his diocese became one of the most flourishing in France. A pagan overlord who had persecuted the Christians could not resist his exhortations, and after his baptism gave large grants to the church. On one of those terrains, the bishop built a monastery in honor of the Blessed Virgin. After governing his church for nearly 30 years, St. Omer, in his old age, became blind, but that affliction did not lessen his pastoral concern for his flock. He died in the odor of sanctity while on a pastoral visit in the year 670. The place of his burial is uncertain. Most probably he was laid to rest in the Church of Our Lady, later St. Omer Cathedral, where there is a 13th century monument dedicated to him.